Hey guys, it's Curfix or Curf for short. So this is a, just a little update on my channel, where I've been, what's been going on. Uh, I'm going to keep this very brief and succinct. Um, firstly, I've been at university. Um, I've been doing... <laughs> like, I've been working really hard at university, which is why my upload schedule has staggered a lot. As to why these uploads have suddenly spiked up, it's actually because it's the end of my semester. I have about two weeks until... Two or three weeks into my first exam and so I decided hey I need to actually catch up to things and so I dug into my archives and there were a few games that I had already recorded but I hadn't gone around to editing so Vanishing of Ethan Carter and Papers Please were the ones that I had finished uh, playing but never got around to editing which is why they're up now. So the things that I've done for the channel apart from uploading those videos is that I've actually changed my outro and it may not sound like a big deal but to me it is a huge deal because now my process of uploading has gotten so much faster I don't have to play a f episode forward and then design a thumbnail for the episode forward in order to upload a particular video so you might have noticed that for the design of my uh, older videos I'd have to um, I had a thumbnail leading to the next video, but now I don't do that anymore. So every time I upload a new video, it links to the previous video and then another video in my channel. So uh, for anyone who's watching and who, who does Let's Plays as well, if you um, are thinking of outros and stuff like that, take that stuff into consideration. You don't want to be the one, unless you're like a huge eager beaver and you always have like another episode stashed on your... Um, in your in your gameplay or whatever don't bog yourself down unnecessarily with um having to do extras in order to do something beforehand if you know what i mean just think of the best way of optimizing your time and your resources in order to spit out uploads at prompt times and ensure quality at the same time in terms of other things for the channel, just just optimizing my um my workspace, my my workflow. Yeah, optimizing my workflow. So I've created some templates in Premiere Pro, which allows me to just easily, you know, just like slap on an outro after every video. I don't have to like reorient myself or like chuck images on, realign them. It's none of that stuff. So. Another thing <laughs> with Let's Plays is trying to optimize whatever, like I'm using Premiere Pro and I'm trying my best to learn while I'm using it. I YouTubed a couple of tutorials today on Premiere Pro because I wanted something specific to be done and then I realized there are so many tools and tips and tricks that I don't actually know about and it's been like a year since I've been using this program, right? It's just, it would have just saved so much time and I'm just so glad that I discovered that stuff today. Anyway, aside from that, so, you know, my channel uploads. When I do upload, I'm probably going to upload really fast, which is a good thing. My plans for series, uh, I need to first confirm that there are a couple of series that I'm not going to continue anymore. And that is Gunpoint, The Stanley Parable, and Typing of the Dead Overkill. Uh, also, also Yoshi's Island. I, I started Yoshi's Island just because I really loved that game and I was like, if I want to let's play, I want to start with a game that I really like and I came off. Not so strong for that, but I really did enjoy it. But that series is not going to continue anymore. Series that I do plan on continuing are Transistor, Thomas Was Alone, Papers Please, and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. And those are the only other series pretty much that are on my channel right now. Like, I, I, I do intend on continuing those series. I'm not resting them. I have... It's been ages since my last Transistor upload, but that does not mean that I'm not continuing it. However, that problem remains that because it's been so long since I last played Transistor, my tone and my quality and everything is going to be, like, fully transformed. But I don't think that's going to be a big deal. My very, I had a very story-oriented approach with Transistor and it did take a lot of time to edit each video because I did um, backtracking to previous episodes which required me to edit a few more clips and I tried to get the timing right on things and um, in general it did take quite some time. 
But yeah, I do can plan on continuing that series. Another thing I wanted to point out, as I did mention before, is that it's been a year since I last uploaded. So my first Yoshi's Island video was in April in 2015, which is like, it puts things into perspective for me. Like I have been continuing this Let's Play thing for a year now. <laughs> in terms of things that I've learned from Let's Play is that um, number one, it doesn't dominate my life and it shouldn't dominate my life, which is a good thing because right now I have been prioritizing on life things. So that's one thing I learned. The second thing is that even though I don't network as hard as I think I should, I have been enjoying myself. I've been enjoying myself doing these things and I find that one of the pluses of essentially keeping a bit sheltered from other people's let's plays is that number one I have like so much scope to choose other games to play because if I watch other people's let's plays I'll be like oh crap I want to play that game but now I'm really aware of that game. Number two is that I don't feel the effects of um, overlapping kind of um, ideas and whatnot because I've always wanted to pursue my own creative scope. Like I wanted to do my own thing and if I keep watching other people's things and say oh yeah I, I like really admire XYZ or maybe like unknowingly I'm going to have other people's influences overlap on me and that, that's not to say it's a bad thing but that is one of the benefits I see in not pursuing like a huge network right now. I am very clear about my life commitments right now and Slowly, but surely, I'm becoming more clear about the objective of this channel as well. And I hope for some of you guys who also have your own Let's Play channels and stuff, you guys have clear plans and clear ideas about what exactly your channel stands for. And it's a good wake up call to, you know, like just continue your normal life um, without the Let's Play and see, you know, how does your own Let's Play channel brighten up your life? What was it created for and is it achieving that goal? And for me, it, it is achieving that goal. And it is also, you know, it's nice to come back to people who are very aware that I have other things to do. And that when I do come back and I do upload, maybe the videos, like the views aren't as high as what they used to be. Or, you know, it's, it's not about the views anymore. To me, it's just about being able to learn from what I'm doing and my own awareness that I'm growing and that's all I really need. So that's my as, as succinct as possible update on the channel right now. Thank you guys so much for watching my content. I'm just glad that you guys just, you know, maybe maybe you deprive a little enjoyment or schadenfreude out of my channels. I don't, sorry, out of my videos. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for keeping up with me and um, I'll see you guys around.